Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Killot404, and today I want to talk about uh, the recent good news for uh, first-person shooter fans out there for Nintendo Switch. Of course, being that Respawn and EA have confirmed that the Nintendo Switch is going to be getting Apex Legends this fall, this year, which is awesome, of course. Uh, still, it's, it seems like uh, it's been years now, right, that this Battle Royale craze is uh, is upon us and it's still happening, it's still going really strong, and Apex Legends, of course, is one of those games which is, of course, a Battle Royale. So it's awesome that it's coming to the Nintendo Switch, uh, especially if you're a, um, you know, first-person shooter uh, enthusiast, I'm going to say, you know. Not that the Nintendo Switch hasn't had some awesome FPS. I mean, honestly, the Nintendo Switch is one of the most successful consoles Nintendo has ever put out. There's so much third-party support for this console even recently you know we've gotten stuff like borderlands 2 borderlands uh, collection and like bioshock collection as an example very recently this summer um not and and there's other games like payday uh that you can play online there's single player fps that you can play like doom and wolfenstein so it's just kind of a, a quick note to say that in, the nintendo switch is really awesome and it's still getting a lot of support which is great uh, I personally want to maybe sort of reboot this channel and play a lot of Apex Legends. Um, you know, the game is meant to be played on stream, so I'm thinking of playing the game on my live stream on Twitch and then posting some of the good gameplays that I get on my YouTube channel. Uh, but, you know, it, this is awesome. You know, Fortnite coming to the Switch is awesome. Uh, the one little, like, nitpick I have with Fortnite is that it doesn't run too well. I mean, there's a lot of times where the game stutters a lot and drops below 30 frames per second. And that's just because the Nintendo Switch um, needs to be a little bit more powerful, in my opinion, to be able to handle that game. So hopefully in the future there's a Nintendo Switch Pro that gets released so that Fortnite can run really smooth. But as of right now, um, it's it's kind of like it's a little bit laggy. If you want real multiplayer, like first person shooter gameplay or other shooter gameplay, you'll have this game right here, which is Warface, which I'm kind of sweating a little bit, right? It's like another sweaty day in Warface. Um, so there's just one option, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Now that Apex Legends is coming, it's going to be great because you just have another option to play. And on top of the fact that it's going to be a battle royale. And there's also going to be um, cross-platform play, which means that even if the Switch community uh, sort of dies, and I don't think it's going to die because I think there's a lot of Fortnite players on Switch. There's like a really decent community of Fortnite players actually playing the game on Switch. So I think a lot of those players are going to pick up uh, Apex Legends to try the game out, and I think they're going to like it. But, you know, regardless, let's say, you know, uh, the Nintendo Switch, let's say it bombs or something like that where it doesn't have a lot of players. You'll still have the ability to do cross-platform play, and you can play with uh, against PlayStation players and Xbox players and PC players. It might be unfair because you might be playing the game at a lower frame rate, like 30 frames per second, but at least you're able to get a lobby. At least you're able to uh, continue to play the game, and you can also play with your friends on other consoles too. So that's a that's a really good plus uh, in my opinion. So um, yeah, it's kind of like really good news. You know what I'm saying? Um, the fact that it's going to be like feature complete and that's one of the things that is really awesome nowadays with this crop platform stuff especially for the lower i'm going to call it lower tier or lower powerful consoles like maybe switch and mobile if you're playing on an iphone or something is that because of pr cross platform play you literally have to make the game uh you have to support um the game equally on the weaker consoles as you would on the stronger consoles just because uh, it wouldn't work if everything wasn't the same including content including patches including tweaks and all that if it wasn't the same then you literally couldn't play so because they're supporting cross-platform like that you're gonna get all the updates just like the other consoles it's not gonna be like the Wii or the Wii U or you, let's say, play Call of Duty and they just release the game but they kinda realize that the sales are kinda down I guess or, or something like that you know and then they just stop supporting the game there's no more dlc there's a point where they draw a line in the sand the game gets no more dlc no more patches and all support is kind of killed off on that game and the game kind of dies which kind of is it, you know it sucks so um this is great this is this is i'm really excited guys because this sort of could be and i guess you know i've talked a lot about the news which is fine good, good news right apex legends is coming out now i'm going to focus the rest of the commentary on my personal uh, channel so you can click off if you really don't care about me but um yeah this could be kind of a, a a cute little reboot of my channel i've sort of kind of quit gaming if you guys didn't know uh, like a year and a half ago where I, I decided, you know, gaming isn't really hitting the spot. There's not a lot of great games that I want to play right now. 
And so I sort of quit gaming and uh, pursue sort of a normie life, a normie lifestyle. Like, you know, I, I went to work. Uh, I actually enjoy my work, then I enjoy uh, hanging out with my friends after work, and then I hang out on the weekends and do fun stuff on the weekends, like play, like I go bowling or go to a batting cage or go to nightclubs and stuff like that. You know, I, I, I'm trying to like be more of a social person. Of course, though, with uh, social distancing, COVID-19 and the global pandemic, uh, it's kind of changed now, you know what I'm saying? I've been stuck in my house for like three months, literally working from home, which is good. But I'm, I was kind of getting bored, actually, because there's just so much Netflix and YouTube and like walking, you know, in your little backyard area and walking in the streets and stuff. And then, you know, you you occasionally go to the supermarket to get your food and stuff like that. That sort of life is kind of boring. And I'm living in it now till this day, obviously, because we're still in the pandemic. So I've slowly tried to get back into gaming. I've noticed that my Nintendo Switch has been collecting a lot of dust. So I, you know, kind of this last couple of weeks, you know, I, I fired up my Nintendo Switch. I downloaded a bunch of demos. Um, that's how I actually started playing Warface uh, sort of recently because I, I noticed that this game was free to play and it was a first person shooter and all that. So I got this game from that. I also purchased like Minecraft uh, Dungeons. So I, I finished that game. I actually played it on stream. So go check out my Twitch TV. You'll see like a, a playthrough of Minecraft Dungeons right there. Um, and stuff like Wolfenstein. Like, I've been trying out a lot of different games on the Nintendo Switch. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of like because I have nothing to do, I'm sort of, and I want to stay safe, right? I don't want to get sick. I'm sort of forced to now start to play games again. Uh, could this be a small renaissance of Killout 4 4? Possibly. I, I just need to find a game. You know, I need to find a niche on YouTube, right? So. Um, I remember back in the day, like, I think one of the main reasons why people watch me play, um, you know, Wii and Wii U Call of Duty as an example. I kind of don't want to think back to those days. Those days. It's like nine years or ten years ago. Uh, but the only reason why um, people wanted to watch me is just because of the fact that, like, it was a niche. Like, I was like the one guy out of a handful of guys that played Call of Duty on the Wii. People made fun of it, how the graphics are lame and terrible. And this looks like a cartoon, you know. So that sort of same thing could happen with Apex Legends for me. Where like, hey, it's that one guy that plays Apex Legends on the Switch. I mean, you see it with Fortnite, right? It's like that one guy that plays Fortnite on the Switch. And he plays through the lag. And he plays through the, the terribleness of the console, right? And there's that one guy that plays Fortnite on iPad. And he's amazing on mobile. He's like killing everybody on iPad. Like... Uh, it, there, you know, there could be a decent chance for that, and I, I kind of don't care, obviously, because whatever. If it doesn't, if it happens, it happens. If I, if it doesn't happen, whatever. Like, what I would do is, like, after work, I would just live stream Apex Legends on my Twitch page, and then, of course, like I said, I'll just upload it on YouTube. So that would be like sort of my relaxation of the day. I worked hard. I'm gonna be fragging on Apex Legends. Maybe get some friends on, make some new friends, get a little posse going. You know, the Kid 404 posse. I would just play the game, and then I would just post it, and whatever whatever happens, happens, you know, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say today. Um, in terms of games, I might want to pick up Paper Mario, the new Paper Mario game for the Switch coming in July. That looks kind of good. It's been a long time since I've last played uh, a good Paper Mario. I'm going to say my favorite Paper Mario is Thousand Year Door. Excellent story, excellent gameplay. The rest has sort of been uh, and I think a lot of people share the same sentiments, so... Uh, I'll, I'll try to, you know, this is no promise or anything, but I'll, I'll try to stick around. I'm still kind of playing it cautious. I, the thing is, I don't want to get sucked into gaming again, and it's all, you know, all my whole life is all about gaming, and all I think about is, I, I don't want that anymore. I'm, I'm old now, like, I, I, I have other things to think about for my future, you know, so we'll see. Uh, until next time, which, you know, whenever that is, stay safe out there, guys. Peace.